Now it's time to do our political fast talk. Okay. We have 60 seconds to do this. Senator Bongbong, bakit hindi dapat iboto si VP Lenny Robredo? Hello guys, don't forget to watch, share, like and subscribe to OFW Good Times. I, are you going to ask me this of each of the presidential yes. candidates? Well, I'm, I'm very hesitant to, uh, to answer that because I do not believe and I do not indulge in negative campaigning. Okay. But I will go this, this far. And I will say that I, uh, I believe that uh, none of the other candidates have yet come to the conclusion that unity ang pagkakaisa ang ating pangangailangan at dun magsisimula ang ating pagbalik. Na dito sa crisis ng pandemya. So that's your answer to is, uh, Mayor Isko, Senator Lacson. To Lachon, all of them, I said because them. they 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 uh, the, uh, they ha, they and Senator Pacquiao. and they, they because of their they have not uh, seen that unity is a critical part. Okay. Then they have not uh, been able to come up with a specific program, a detailed program for what we will do in the next years to recover from. Bakit pandemic. ikaw ang dapat iboto? Yeah, it's a converse of that because my message is about unity. Let's begin. VP Lenny, bakit hindi dapat iboto si Bongbong Marcos? Number one, sinungaling. Pangalawa, in the difficult moments, hindi siya nagpapakita. Bakit ikaw ang dapat namin iboto? Ako, boy, pinakita sa ko nitong crisis na to and many other crises in the past na ang mga babaeng leader nagsha-shine during crisis. And ako, pinakita ko yan sa maraming trabaho namin dito sa OVP. Uh, marami kaming mga krisis na nalagpasan with flying colors. Sabi ko nga, kung yung 2016 hanggang 2022... Here is my final question, answerable also in 60 seconds. March 19, 2018, President Duterte withdrew the Philippines from the Rome Statute. When the withdrawal took effect, March 17, ito, 2019, ang Pilipinas po ay hindi na naging miyembro ng International Criminal Court. Ang withdrawal, nangyari po ito matapos sa anunsyo ng then ICC Prosecutor Fatou Bensuda ang pagbubukas ng preliminary examination sa Pilipinas with respect to the alleged crimes against humanity na nagaganap sa bansa dahil sa war on drugs. The president threatened to arrest the ICC prosecutor if she conducts activities here in the Philippines because we are no longer an ICC member and the ICC has no right to do any investigating. On November 10, 2021, the Philippine government requested a deferral of the ICC's investigation under the principle of complementarity, claiming that the country had begun its own investigation. Buhay ang ating justice system, in other words. The current ICC prosecutor, Karim Khan, in a document dated November 18, sinabi niya that uh, they will temporarily suspend its investigation into the Philippines as it assesses the scope and effect of the government's request for deferral that cited the investigations being done by the Department of Justice. Human rights... Uh, and victim advocacy groups are urging the ICC to proceed with the investigation to not further delay the justice for the victims. VP Lenny, in 60 seconds, hypothetical ang aking tanong. Presidente ka ng Pilipinas, sumulat ang ICC prosecutor na si Karim Khan at nagre-request na siya at ang kanyang team ay pumunta dito sa Pilipinas para umpisa na ang preliminary investigation sa di umanoy mga krimen laban sa sangkatauhan na may kinalaman sa war on drugs ni President Duterte. Ano po ang inyong gagawin? Papayagan niyo po ba ang team nila na pumunta dito sa Pilipinas? Oo, hindi, at bakit? Papayagan ko. Um, magiging very open, magiging very transparent. Kung wala naman tinatago, hindi tayo kailangan matakot. Hustisya yung pinaka, pinakabuod nito. Pero dapat balikan natin. In the first place, bakit tayo nag-member ng ICC? Ang ICC is a safety net sa mga gobyernong nag-a-abuse nag, ng human rights ng kanilang mga tao, sa mga gobyerno nagko-commit ng, ng very high crimes, mga diplomats natin, mga, mga, mga Pilipino, bahagi ng pag-draft, ng 
pagbuo ng ICC dahil nakita natin na ito ay representative ng values natin bilang bilang mga Pilipino na pinahahalagahan natin yung human rights. So sa akin, pag umupo ako, hindi ko lang papayagan na pumasok dito, pero ipopropose ko na bumalik yung ating membership sa ICC dahil napakahalaga ito to keep government in check. Vice President Lene Robredo, maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, boy. Narito na po tayo sa ating final question, answerable in 60 seconds, oh. and I don't get to follow up. Okay. And the question is, March 19 of 2018, President Duterte withdrew the Philippines from the Rome Statute. When the withdrawal took effect on March 17, 2019, mm. ang Pilipinas uh, was no longer a member of the International Criminal Court, ICC. The withdrawal happened matapos si anuncio ng then ICC prosecutor, Fatou uh, Bensuda, mm -hmm. ang pagbubukas ng preliminary examination mm -hmm. sa Pilipinas with respect to the alleged crimes against humanity na nagaganap sa bansa dahil sa war on drugs. The President has threatened to arrest the ICC prosecutor if she conducts activities here in the Philippines because we are no longer an ICC member and the ICC has no right to do any investigating. November 10, 2021, the Philippine government requested a deferral of the ICC's request for examination mm -hmm. under the principle of complementarity, mm -hmm. claiming that the country had begun its own investigations. Mm -hmm. The current ICC prosecutor, Karim Khan, in a document dated November 18, Sabi niya, they will temporarily suspend its investigation into the Philippines at, as it assesses the scope and effect of the government's request for deferral that cited the investigations being done ng ating Department of Justice. Human rights advocacy groups are urging the ICC to proceed with the investigation, to not further delay justice for the victims. The question is, hypothetical, sumulat ang ICC prosecutor na si Karim Khan at nagre-request na siya at ang kanyang team ay pumunta dito sa Pilipinas para simulan ang preliminary investigation uh, sa di umano'y mga krimen laban sa sangkatauhan mm. na may kinalaman sa war on drugs ni President Duterte. Mm. Ano po ang inyong gagawin? Papayagan mo ba sila pumunta dito sa Pilipinas? Mm. Oo, hindi, at bakit? Papayagan ko sila dito, pero magturista lang sila. Dahil ang pagkaunawa ko sa ICC, the ICC is there pagka walang judiciary na nag operate sa isang bansa. Dahil nagka, nagka, nagkagera, uh, dahil nasira lahat, everybody, the, the economy has collapsed, etc., etc., for whatever reason. Diyan papasok ang ICC. We have a functioning judiciary. And that's why I do not see the need for a foreigner to come and uh, do the job for us, uh, to do the job for our judicial system. Uh, our judicial system is perfectly capable of doing that. And uh, the, the, it also raises a great many questions about uh, jurisdiction and sovereignty. Uh, what is their jurisdiction to come here into the Philippines and conduct an investigation? Is that a, not a violation of our rights as a sovereign nation in the community of nations? Those questions need to be answered before they can be allowed any investigation. Senator Bongbong, maraming salamat. Oh my, that went very quickly. Maraming, maraming salamat. Maraming, maraming salamat. Thank you for your time. God bless you at mabuhay ka. And thank you very <laughs> maraming, much. Maraming, maraming salamat. At sa inyong lahat na sumama sa aming pag-uusap, Hello guys, don't forget to watch, share, like and subscribe to OFW Good Times.